Greetings and blessings from the Most High, Ja Rastafari, Crawford Ashley, the spiritual boxer. And I'm going to talk about boxing like I always do. And basically, it's I was in the gym talking to somebody yesterday and it was on about a kid going pro and he says if you're not a ticket seller it's pointless going with the British Boxing Body Control because all you'll be is a journeyman now that makes kind of a bit of sense but not a lot Boxing is losing its grassroots because small promoters can't afford to put shows on because it's a minimum 20 grand before you even start with all this board sanction fees and this and that and the third thing um, They're making boxing into a, a money sport where before it never used to be you didn't have to have money to start off with all you needed was a talent now you have to be a boxer a promoter, a ticket seller, a media star, and it's, to me it's all bollocks. Um, I remember having a discussion with Maloney about me not being able to sell tickets, and that made me laugh, because wherever I boxed was full. So whether they came to see me or not, they were there. Would you have been there if I weren't there? I don't know. I remember boxing in Southampton against Jimmy Peters in his hometown. And I had people coming up to me saying that they've come to watch me box. Now, how many people and how many shows have come to watch you box, but I haven't got tickets from you? So for me, the promoter needs to start promoting, doing his job. You know, the promoter promote the show. You're not promoting one fighter, you've got to promote the show. So your show's good. And boxers, you just concentrate on boxing because to become a ticket seller, you've got to spend so much time out there chasing people up and running people down. <laughs> You're not getting enough time to focus on your boxing. <laughs> and promoters and managers You've got a good kid and he doesn't sell tickets, promote him because he's a good kid. He's a good fighter. People who sell tickets will always sell tickets. Whether they win or lose, it doesn't make no difference. People are still coming to see him because that's what they generate. They're coming to see that person, not coming to see a win. You know, it's my mates used to come and see me. If we won, we had a great celebration. If we lost, they can come on, where they can, I don't even know what that word's called. But there's some good nights. They're always good nights, whether you win or lose. And true boxing fans stay and stick. It's like it makes me laugh with that Lomachenko. Everybody was saying how brilliant he was. And then he loses a fight. And then he's, he's out. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was... It made me... It's just how fickle people are. You know, and... Nowadays, you have to be a media star, a social media star, get loads. And people put them on, they get opportunities to fight. What, what the fuck's going on? They're killing boxing, basically. So, for me, the British Boxing Board of Control are a shambles. And they want disbanding and breaking up. And the Sky TV as well. I remember having a conversation with Johnny Nelson at um, Pornhill Park, Carnival Time. And it was on about, I was on about mismatches on, on TV and they said that the TV want knockouts. And I just smiled at him and just started laughing. I said, the biggest money earner at the moment is Mayweather. He's not a knockout specialist. He's an escape artist, they don't get hit. And that's what people actually want to see. They want to see you get hit and if you're not getting it they'll come and pay to see you get hit <laughs> so you know the biggest pay-per-views were made with her the guy don't get hit so no matter what people tell you this is about the crowd when to see a knockout it's another false it's another lie it's another bollocks they want to see good even matches and they want to see the winner win 
because there's nothing that leaves a bad taste in your mouth than a bad decision. You know, even as um, a spectator, when you're watching a, a fight and you can see that Red's won and they give it to Blue and you're thinking, what the fuck? Is this what boxing is? And then you've got people who say, I don't know nothing about boxing. But I like it. And I say to them, well, what do you like about it? And then they start telling me all these different things. All right, then. I say, so you listen to the commentators? And most of them do. <laughs> and I just laugh and I just go, you don't know nothing about boxing. The simplest way, if you want to learn about boxing, is the one who lands the most punches with a knuckle part of the glove on the target area with force. With force. It's like this thing, oh, he comes forward, so he's won the round. He's come forward and took a battering and won the round. You forget, boxing is a self-defense. It's simple. So don't score on aggression. Yeah, the man's coming forward all the time. But he's picking up punches all the time. He might land two or three. But it's, take, it's took six or seven. So for me, it's always the skill side of it that I always go for. It's like I was saying to somebody, somebody throws 60 punches and lands 20. And somebody pours three and throws 30 punches and lands 20. Who's won that round? They both landed the same amount of punches. One's thrown more, but it's more aggressive. But his accuracy is crap. Or did the guy's defense is better? Because my man's only thrown 30 and him with the same amount. So to me, he's won that round. But who am I? Who am I? That's just my opinion, and I could be one of them guys sat at ringside whose opinion matters. So to me, it's like, I am bothered what other people think. I can justify why I think something, and I can give you reasons why. It's like, some of these decisions that are really bad. I think all the referees should be held accountable. And that means not behind closed doors, held accountable, out in the open, have questions watched, watch shit back, and if you make a mistake, change the decision. But like it's always been with the British Boxing Body Control, they always find in favor of the referees, always. They always find in favor of the officials because the officials, in their eyes are the only ones that matter. Boxers don't matter. Boxers are, what are boxers? A commodity, a piece of meat, shit. When it's done, just throw it to one side and don't give a crap about it. And that's how it is, you're on the scrappy once you retire. That's why a lot of fighters keep coming back. Because they realize that they're nobody anymore. But, why do you have to box to be somebody? That's the one thing I found out from my retirement. Crawford Ashley, the boxer. Now, I'm not a boxer anymore, mate. I'm just Crawford Ashley. But who is he? Who is that man? And I found who I was. I've always been me. I just love to box. Now I'm too old to box, do what I love. So I teach it. I teach what I love, it's my passion and I don't have to do something to be somebody, I already am somebody and I think most people miss that, you are somebody, you don't have to do something to be somebody, you're a human being, not a human doing. So I remember, especially during this time with the lockdown and you can't do anything, find out who you are, find out what you like, find out what you enjoy doing and do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You're here to have a good time, mate. You know what I mean? You're here for a short time and this pandemic pandemic proves it. You know what I mean? People are living in fear because they don't want to die. And what they don't realise is they're wasting the time worrying about dying when it's coming anyway. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you can take your time and just enjoy the ride. Or you can be holding on, screaming and shouting and having a fantastic time. Or you can be just stuck in your room. 
thinking about what could be look at the doom and gloom and all the dangers there is there's nothing I can do I've got to sit here and screw my head stuck or it could be out there saying look at that lovely sky it's raining but there's a rainbow over there man there's a big black cloud but we've seen the silver lining the sun's out yeah man chill out let's go for a walk smell the bro smell the bullshit that's going on but we'll just see anyway i've give this a go and let's see if you like it please subscribe to crawford ashley the spiritual boxer i'm here on youtube most days <laughs> and when i get back into the gym i'll be doing a little bit of technique i know some people don't like it but other people do um i might even do some training show you what i do um yeah because i've been very depressed as most people know i tried to take my life on a few occasions which most people know and um what i found helped me out one of the things and i'm gonna put it down as a major major thing for me was changing my diet becoming a vegan i've been a vegan about five years now and it i feel inside absolutely brilliant and um, meditation calming the mind down and what i found with my meditation is i count my breaths just count my breathing uh, 